Kevin here. This is the 2018 Allegro bus 40 AH. And this year you have an integrated uh, awnings that literally are part of the roof line. It's hard to see because the sun, but I put it out just a bit like a hair, but that goes completely flush against the roof line of the coach. It's pretty cool. You also have pull down shades on some of these windows here. So you have an additional manually pulled down. It hooks onto here. So you have more shade when you don't want to have your awning out all the way. There's a little um, shelf right here. I'm going to do the outside first, but this is in right here. A little shelf. These steps are really cool the way that they fold up and out of the way. Tiffin makes these, these doors themselves. They're really heavy duty, well made, well made stuff. You can actually remove the screen by turning these four things here that way you don't have anything in the way of your mirror or your clear window to look out for safety or just because you like the view better but that's kind of a cool little thing plus you have this little um, window for view I can see the little, little area here needs to be reattached a little better which like I said I'm gonna point out any blemishes I see I noticed a couple walking through just minor stuff like this that will fix easily here but those are cool heavy duty steps. I want to show you how they, how they fold up. Turn them on. It's kind of neat how it folds in. Gives you that nice uh, stainless steel look on the outside. So every area of the front and other areas of the coach are covered in this diamond shield. It's like a giant sticker that protects it from getting rock chips. It's all over the entire front. It's around here where you might hit with keys or jewelry. It's in the wheel wells, I believe. Maybe not on this one, they're a little thin. But it's down on the kick panel usually. I guess this one doesn't have much of a kick panel, so no, not this one. But on the ones that have thicker kick panels, this one doesn't need it because it has this. But the most important spot that it's at is uh, in the front where all the action is. There's a little bit over here too, and you're grabbing the handle. There's this area right here to protect it from scratching the paint over time. So these slides are seamless. They call them seamless slides, incidentally. And it's basically like a bathtub. There's a, it's like you turn this thing on its side, and that is a solid one piece slide out. And you can see they don't put any facade on the edge of their slide out like everybody else does. Here's one here, just a normal slide out edge cover it's plastic and it's there to cover up the ugly edges in this case tiffin's cut their fiberglass they produced their own fiberglass this is a, probably a, a third of an inch thick and that is what they want i mean this this is insanely awesome as far as fiberglass goes you just don't see that and so you have a completely seamless slide it's pulling in from the bottom And I just want you to see everything looks nice and clean into there. But yeah, they paint the inside of their slide walls. Come around this way. They also build their own window frames. In fact, some of this window glass in here probably says Tiffin on it. I'd have to look at it. But they actually make some of their own actual glass as well as their window frames. And so they're just really well done. And they're residential grade. Dual paint, of course. You have a uh, under freezer, fridge, Dometic slides out. That's nice to have. I love the way everything is lined and it's kind of like nice material. It's really soft, easy to vacuum out. You've got two slide out trays. You just lift here and pull, and it goes either way, all the way. This is the mechanism here you use to open up these guys. So pull it out, then you latch it on there. It's hard to do with one hand, but that's how it works. These are also lined with that same material. This looks like, I tried to look at it, it's like, I, it's like the awning material. I believe it attaches to the awning once it comes out. It's something they must have purchased. I don't think it came with it, but it kind of builds the, the awning into an awning room gives you a little bit more shade as it drops 
down uh, in front of it, I believe. And so that's kind of cool to have. Another slide tray. There's an extra belt for the engine if you ever need it. Tiffin always gives uh, stuff like that. So that's probably from Tiffin. Just in case you don't have to look for one in the middle of the road if you ever do lose your serpentine belt. There's the under carriage of the chassis. The entire coach is lined with this foam. Uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a thick, it's almost like cardboard, but made out of uh, more of like a foil material. It's heavy duty. It's, it's, an, it's on every single surface of the coach, top, bottom, sides, front, back. And it is everywhere except the, where, where the windows are, obviously. All of the lights under here are motion sensor. They come on automatically. So when they sense motion, if they're turned on for that setting. Back here again, we have another LG Smart TV. Soundbar with this one. It's also an LG soundbar. Probably came with the coach. And I believe you can play your music through here on Bluetooth. It is Bluetooth. There is the an outside light, of course, but this is also a vent for the um, convection oven. This is your um, central storage. It goes all the way to the center. On the other side of that is the aqua hot. This is most likely your gravity fill for your, oops, for your fresh water, but I'm gonna open it and look if I can get the key. Yeah, gravity fill, fresh water, so easy way to fill up before you leave. Michelin tires. I mean, there's still plenty of life left in them. I'm trying to find the date code, probably from 17 or 18, but let me find out. Might be on the other side. Hydraulics here, you can hook up to, to get air and different other things. There's the, the red boxes, just hazard triangles. We give you a set of those. But this is just an access point for some of these items. Here are your engine batteries, your chassis power on and off, some of the fuses. Rear access point for the engine. Whoever had the coach like the label thing, so they just changed this filter 61621. So it looks like they're staying on top of stuff. Really nice view of this uh, 450 Cummins engine. What's interesting about the the Power Glide chassis is the way that the clutch fan engages is done by magnets and inertia, so it doesn't draw any horsepower off the coach. Most chassis, the way that they operate with the drivetrain is that you lose some of that horsepower and you end up, if you were 450, you might be 415. And it's kind of just a fluctuating number where apparently with the way this one operates and using inertia instead of any kind of draw off of the engine, you're getting a true 450, which equates to better fuel economy, better horsepower output, and just not, you know, nice, nice fluid power. Here's your DEF. I think it's a 13 or 15 gallon. Pretty sure. Maybe it's 10. It's hard to read, but standard stuff. The side radiator also for keeping the engine cool. It's 37% larger than standard kind of, you know, run of the mill radiators in a coach like this with a 450 from what they told us. Another thing about the Power Glide chassis, it really has a reputation of not overheating. And that's kind of one of the things with a diesel pusher is that they have a, they have a reputation to, to run hotter. And that's something that, from what I understand, and Tiffin has reported to us from time to time, is that I haven't you know checked recently, but as of the last time they reported to us, there really hadn't been any overheating issues reported on Power Glide. And that's rare. So this is an amazing paint job now that I'm kind of stepping back and looking at it. I think it's called Cinder something. Um, I'll think of it, but it's Cinder something. Cinder wood? Cinder wood maybe? Yeah. 
it's got a little bit of a dark gray, the deep, deep dark red, and some black, a little bit of white. This makes that paint job pop. You've got more awnings for your windows in the living room, another one for the bedroom. There's an electric hose return, or I'm sorry, hose uh, cord return, surge guard. Uh, this is power here, so you can just bring that thing in without any real effort, keeping your hands a little less dirty. Here is another tire. Can I find a date code on this one? Who knows? But we do look into that stuff, make sure the tires are in great shape. Um, these probably have a little bit of life left in them. I mean, the, the rule is that we replace them if it's five years or older, regardless of the condition. That's why I want to see the day code. If this is an 18, they're probably a 17 day code, which puts them at a round of three and a half to four and a quarter years old, depending on what that date is. And that's the production date. And it's, I'm always willing to, to ask and see if they'll throw in a set of tires so you get a fresh set. So, um, but if they happen to have been replaced recently, obviously we don't want to do that. So something to consider when putting together an offer on something is getting a set of tires you won't have to mess with for you know many many years the dump station i love the way they've kind of got this silver kind of nice looking back everything's simple easy to understand hot and cold running water easy to access water pump easy access full coach filtration your aqua hot um, temperature gauge here you'll let another electric hose return flush system and also the tank monitor so you have a monitor system you turn your uh, water pump on back here basically everything you ever wanted and more even paper towels there's the aqua hot the 450d this is an option which is included in this coach when you want to have an all-electric rv which means no propane the aqua hot if you don't already know provides you with Instant hot water, continuous hot water, and it's just kind of imperative for some people that do a lot of uh, longer distance traveling. You never have to worry about taking shorter showers or running out of heat. The other side of your two slide trays. There's a from the fuse box, uh, master power for your house batteries. There are six house batteries. They're on a slide out system. You just literally just push here, release and pull. Again, these are some, something we go through. They are probably original, but if they're not doing what they're supposed to do or they're too past their prime, we consider replacing them. There's actually some lighting underneath here. So you have under kind of under carriage, under, under slide lighting as you're approaching the vehicle. You know that your, your main uh, fuse box here, these are awesome because as soon as something's popped, you can tell that it's popped out. You don't have to go in and individually check every single fuse. It's in a nice case. I like that all the original, you know, documents are still connected, still in here, just like a new motorhome. This is the generator pole. Dual fuel fill, of course. This is the um, slide, the side mirrors of integrated rear camera, or side cameras, rear camera, of course, in the back. Cummins, it's a 10,000 kilowatt, which means this has three air conditioners on the roof, which I did photograph the roof. There's a solar panel, there's the Wi Fi uh, booster, which also allows you to connect to the internet if you choose to. That's a separate uh, annual charge. I think it's like 400 bucks a year for unlimited data. But there's 181 hours on the generator. like nothing again you see this material I talked about 
in the front. It's a little thicker in front too, probably because of the heat of the engine. That's the first time I noticed that. So I'm seeing these little magnets that they've got in the corners here. I think it's possible that that material I found in that bag that I said it probably is the, uh, you know, to make the awning room come out. I think that might even be for all of these services to have this nice seamless cover over the outside. So when you're camping for a longer period of time, you just have uh, more privacy built into your front window system and keeps the heat out a lot better. And then this awning, when it's out all the way, it might already have an integrated uh, piece that comes down in front of it. I, I just have to I'd have to try it out, but whatever it is, it's the, it's the standard awning and this is what you get. So I'm gonna head on in here, see what we find on the inside. I normally make this into two parts and I'm, I am a little long-winded, but I'm just gonna continue going here. So main, on off point several different controls there's more controls on top this is a um so the, the the passenger has access to cameras and navigation they can kind of be the co-pilot or not um all of the another thing about the controls in the front room for sure on the lego bus it's all electric shades day and night on all of these windows, and they're electric, including the front, okay? This is a full rotatable, both of these rotate. This is this one has a kick out like a recliner. That one looks like it does, but it doesn't for safety. These are also heated seats. There's full uh, leveling, it's air, or hydraulics, so you actually have the actual foot that comes down, or it levels you without having that foot come down. Imagine you're in sand or something softer, some softer dirt, and you don't want to have your jacks get stuck in the dirt or, or just not work right. You can level out using the air system, which works amazing. You can also raise and lower the entire coach, and that's sometimes useful for getting up into tight spots. You got a really steep or kind of steep driveway you can give yourself another two, three, four, even five, I think five or six inches uh, of lift. And it's not gonna drive like that, but just to roll into a steep, steeper incline or going down a curb or something like that, where you're coming out of a gas station or even your own driveway without having to scrape anything or worry about it. The only thing, the reason you really wanna lower it is if you're trying to get into maybe a, a fuel station that maybe is a little on the high uh, short side, so you, You've got clearance, but you're really cutting it close, and maybe your antennas are kind of scratching against the top of the, uh, the ceiling of the gas station. I've had situations like that where I will lower it down a couple inches, and it helps me avoid just worrying about that kind of thing. There's the controls for all the awning. Don't think I have enough room out here to do it. There's also a remote control. You have satellite system course on the roof as well there's your solar panel controller the single large solar panel on the roof JBL sound system there's nothing else really in these compartments this is your Wi-Fi booster this has something to do with um, I think it connects to the stereo in front for charging and data input got a little nice little light inside this here so let's take a look at the floor plan it's very very uh home like atmosphere with this l-shaped sofa that collapses down you have this uh, ottoman that has storage inside of it this is villa furniture there's the villa tag already still in there there is a full pull out so if a you know queen uh pull out bed it's an air coil mattress very comfortable so you've got the built-in workstation if you ever needed it. This has got a little shelf for a laptop or keyboard. There's another slide out tray here for a printer or just for whatever. So there's two chairs, 
There's two more in the back. I set them up so you can see what they look like opened up and folded. They just comes out a little bit more so you can fit four chairs around. This is your kind of remote, your 110 and your USB station. Some more storage points down below. There's a deeper one, even has a little file divider. I like how they backlit the, um, that um, backsplash is kind of cool. So this slide out here comes in and out. So nice deep drawers, and then you can totally put away if you don't need it. Let's take a look at the fireplace. There's a couple different settings. You can have heat, no heat, different levels of heat. Um, you can change the color of the palette. So you got blue and reds and natural or smoldering. Turn that off for now. Oh, here it is. I also have backlit tile where the TV is located. That is the most comfortable chair ever made. Pulls out as well if you want to move it around. Sofa is off is also pretty comfortable. These are cool candlelight uh, or candlestick style sconces. All the shade controls are over here. A couple pushes and everything goes up or down day or night shades and they match nicely with the coach back to the kitchen of course all hard surface countertops throughout the coach electric cooktop this induction it's pretty much instant hot as soon as you turn it on and apply your stainless steel magnetic bottom pan that thing is apparently boils water like in 30 seconds to a minute and it's instantaneous then when you pull the pan away apparently it's cooled down to the touch and safe to use um as a countertop or whatever and just you just the heat the heat the way that it works with the magnet is just an instant thing on or off so you have the dishwasher here this is all pretty standard stuff to get in a bus people like to use this area to store maybe a set of dishes they take with them so they have one nice set of dishes and they'll sit nicely in there. Um, this is a really great use of space. They have a little storage room below here too. Oh, they've already got, this has the set that came with the coach of the uh, magnetic pans, the stainless steel pans. That was something they did for a few years or a couple years. They stopped doing it now, but they provide a really nice little set of pans that fit well with the RV. Not too big, but just, just the right size. So this is a great use of space though for this area under the sink. This piece moves back and forth. So you have you know, more storage you can use below. You can have space for your trash can if you choose. And this whole thing slides back in here. And then there's an area on the side to slouch. Oops, <laughs> I'm okay. Just startled me. And I'm the one that put this thing out, so it's my, my fault. But these trays, once they come off, they'll slide into these compartments so you can get them out of the way and they're not in your way got three more plugs down below on the surface on the uh, edge of the backsplash these sinks are just massive retractable soap dispenser but what I wanted to show you is how these slide out for a really great use of your storage as well you can get all the way to the back of that compartment when you load these things up and you can kind of move them around you can change the height or of these if you like and there's another one over here another one over here but it's a really interesting use of really being able to use the entire cabinet up normally you got stuff in the front and you're easily getting to but then the stuff back there it just gets forgot forgot about a few more little drawers over here self-returning More controls, full on water and ice station. Nice size residential fridge. Whirlpool brand. Ice, I mean, a freezing section. This is pretty interesting. This is a really great um, pantry. When the engine's on and for safety, you can't open it just like that. You've got to push this release button, which releases the hold on it while the engine's on. So it can't come flying out while you're driving. 
So you got plenty of storage in here, which is also adjustable. This is awesome, and this is the first year this was offered, and it still is today. You've got all of your controls here on this L. What is it? What do we call it? L C D screen, or and then you've got all kinds of diagnostics. The slides for the back and the the back the back slides are on here. The front slides, incidentally, are in a great spot, which is also probably the year the year they started this, and they're in the, they're on the actual seats themselves. I'm gonna show you real quick. So that's a good thing because you are forced with the button being right here. You are forced to see where the chair is in relation to the slide. So you don't have a situation where you're in the middle of the coach doing the, you know, do, you know, controlling the slides from way over there. And then you're bringing this uh, huge slide in. And next thing you know, this chair is being pushed over and it's being bent. And that's not a good thing. And it happens very commonly. It's, it's just one of those things people at one point or another will forget and they will damage this, the, um, the chair just enough and you have now a wobbly chair. It is, you can never ever get it back to normal unless you just completely replace the frame piece that the chair sits on. And sometimes the chair itself or it starts to tear up the material. Anyway, that was a really ingenious little thing that they've done. It's kind of a herringbone sideways pattern for the floor, it's pretty cool. This is also, um, porcelain coated ceramic tile with 30% um, flexible grout and super easy to take care of. A lot of people like to put floor runners down, carpeting and whatnot. While I'm over here, you do have a sweeper system so you can sweep all your dust and dirt into this. You can kick it over with your foot. I think there's also a vacuum hose line. Yeah, it's right down here. So you open this up and you have more attachments that go into there. Back to the screen. You control all of the attic fans. There's three. Well, two attic fans, one ceiling fan. The attic fan is one right here. I love how they cover it so it looks like it's part of the coach instead of having to look at an actual attic fan. There's one more in the bathroom. And then the ceiling fan. I just turned that on low. This is another area to, to control all of the electric shades. Master shades up, all shades up. Master shades down, all shades down. This is just the front of the coach. I believe the back of the coach is, all, is manually operated. So now we see nighttime is one button. Even the front ones, everything's going down. One button, you have to go out around to each and every window in the evening for privacy. And now we've got a completely different look. Night shades up. And it'll bring it all up. I mean, little things like that, but it is nice convenience. Bed lift. Bed lift is up right now. The slide won't work when the bed is down. Having the bed up also allows you to watch TV from upright position or gives you a massive amount of space around the bed and in the, in the, in the living or the bedroom area, rather. So, you've got all the power controls, what's going on with um, all the, the different amps, how many amps you're using, what's taking up the power, inverter controls, auto gen start, AGS, that's gonna have the generator turn on for you when it needs to or when you set it to. Lots of ways to, to uh, set that up. But when you, once you get it dialed in, so this is amazing, I can't believe I didn't turn this on yet, but not quite as much so three air conditioners super easy to to mess around with the buttons i mean it's just as easy as that now we're on low floor heaters of course the aqua hot system the preheat floor heaters for front and back there's two all the lights now there's a master on and on switch if you turn a few of these off like a certain pattern that you want that master setting to be then that's what your master setting is so if i turn this one this one this one off oops and then you turn turn it off and on it's left with your setting whatever that is all of the lights that have these double arrows for example this one they're all on dimmers so i think you just have to hold them yeah you just hold them and then it'll dim 
much easier to mess with at night when it's darker, but that's what those little arrows indicate. Whenever there's the arrow, this is all the exterior and under, under the coach edges, the all the upper lights, they're all on this section here. The slide box, under the slide box, I think it is. Bedroom, bathroom lights. And then another ceiling fan control there. Okay. The, the main page, this kind of has the basics of a little bit of everything. Temperatures of the coach, front, mid, and rear. Actual temperature in the engine bay. Um, floor heating, turning on the aqua hot, all these quick start features. All the tank readings, water pump. I think that's pretty much it. There's some settings and different troubleshooting stuff over here, diagnostics. But that's a great little way to operate everything from one place. This nice barrier door give you privacy. Let's check out the bathroom's another door here to create that same look. Double sink, plenty of room for the bathroom, porcelain toilet, storage for paper towels or whatnot behind. Nice towel rack, storage up above here. Another little place for towels. The shower is great size. You have a flip down bench if you need it or want it. Plenty of storage points. This opens up completely, has a little light in there, so you can add more light, cut the light back. Plenty of medicine cabinet space, looks like they've lined a lot of it for you. And lots of storage, more storage down below. And there's a hidden toilet paper, so you don't have to look at your toilet paper, and it's there when you need it. Same kind of look back here in the kitchen. Modern looking sinks and I don't think the water pump's even on, but you can turn it on right over here, which is kind of neat. So yeah. All the important stuff's right there for the bathroom. This is your exit window. This flips out this way and this way, and you can have a ladder that's hanging out there in a case of emergency. Still a dual pane residential grade window here. Countertop space, nice drawers, accent lighting. It's kind of a signature to Tiffin is they always give you a hamper for your clothes. This is built with a um, direct TV system, I believe. Nope, it's, this is the the dish, dish network, and I, whatever's on the, on the rooftop could be converted to dish or direct. But this one has the Wally box, Blu-ray, 3D Blu-ray player uh, for your discs. <clears throat> Another sound bar, LG, TVs, some more storage up, up here. I've had found all the original books that came with the coach. Um, manual, user guide, everything looks to be in here. There's the original order form, has all the little, all the options, which like I said, it has the second awning, just that's important. So it has the first awning and the second, so the entire length of the coach is an awning. King mattress. The ground effect lighting outside. In motion satellite. Pretty much everything you can get so side opening windows here and here there's another control panel that will do everything that other one does right next to the bed that one's more of like a um, black and white screen but it still does it all little lights up there some more accent lights in the very corner it's great for reading pretty deep overhead storage here that's in two parts here but both good size some people will put bins up there back to the this is cool because 
you get a single bath with two sinks so both people can get ready at the same time then you still get a walk-in closet in this floor plan so you kind of get a little bit of everything without having to two without having to have two bathrooms to clean light switch so the chairs that go with the front they are similar look and feel or similar look anyway and they'll fold up so you can store them away here or underneath the coach or this is how they look when they're set up pretty comfortable cushion really great storage up here you have your state your safe you have a shoe rack built in another little station over here um the more the system fuses but up here you have some storage for maybe your uh laundry stuff stackable splendid brand washer dryer more storage over here this all came like this from tiffin we have these baskets that you can use it came like that some slide trays really just great use of this back space four total drawers in here. they look nice and clean we haven't even touched this coach as far as cleaning it yet but um that will happen eventually so i was looking for this i was going to point out this is the only other blemish i found with the coach is that something must have been caught in the corner or maybe who knows just came off but this needs to be re-glued on this or re reattached, I'm sorry, here. And that's the piece that fits down at the bottom. Something like that. I'm gonna leave it out so they can see it. But that and the little piece of trim by the door that's coming up are the only two areas of that I, that I can see need to be addressed. They're obviously super minor. Um, so it's cool you can get to the bathroom two different ways and so when the slides closed you get to the bedroom through here and then you can still utilize the bed i might also add that air conditioning is working amazingly i have it on low just for the last few minutes it's already ice cold in there but i think that's about it this is a 37 minute video for you to watch i'm going to upload it to youtube Take a look real quick up here. There's a navigation, of course. It's made for motorhomes. You can put in your your size if it hasn't been done already. But it's um, see RV tools. Just go to the map. It's really a nice nice size screen and everything. This is your side and backup camera. Otherwise, this is your stereo. You have XM radio. That's your Ram McNally navigation. But um, I wanted to add, I got a little bit nervous when I was, you were asking about this coach and the Phaeton, and all of a sudden towards the end I noticed that was, there was a sold, like a sold code on, on it, but I went and checked and it's actually available now. The person who tried to buy it when it first came in, uh, I guess they can't get it financed. So he, my manager said, yep, it's back on the market. It's still sitting over here in the sold section, which is where I found it, but it's available. And um, it's a great, great looking coach. So any other questions, please let me know. I'm going to filtering through the uh, readings in here. There's a lot of different readings and settings. I wanted to see the miles from, from my own eyes again. I think it's here. 23,861. Not to mention, we fill up the fuel, the propane, or there's no propane in this one. The 150 gallon fuel tank, though, we fill it up. We give you a box of stuff so you have all the different tools and gadgets, hoses. So you have a fresh set of everything. We also change the oil and the filter in the engine and the generator. So everything's just kind of like set to zero and it's all fresh for the next donor. So here it is. One more look at the living room. Beautiful motorhome. There's also accent lighting on the ceiling. And I think I've said enough. Talk to you later.